All right, so today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, GPU programming with C++ and Triton. Um, and uh, yeah, so I work for this company called Skyro. Uh, what we do is we develop agent-based models um, and we use them to develop, uh, uh, we use these models in urban digital twins and defense applications. And we then compose these models together and build this uh, high-performance distributed simulation. And the idea is that then we are able to answer what if questions. So if you close a road, what is the impact on the uh, population? Because now this road is obviously closed, what are the ways around it and so on. Um, so this is kind of like uh, a graphic, but not too high resolution, but we have like these dots that move around. Um, so at its very core, the writing simulation logic may look like this. So you have a view of the world, you iterate over it, you get the, the data that you want out of uh, the batch that you're currently observing. Um, you update, for example, here the position based on the velocity and how long since your callback was last called. Um, and then you update your position and uh, hopefully everyone else can observe that and you and the other models will be able to do something with that. Um, you may also write something like this. Um, in this case, we might have like a, a sender, multiple senders that we kick off like asynchronous calls to the database. When the data is available, we do some logic and then we update. Um, so uh, this can get very complex very quickly. Um, and what I'm going to be talking to you about today is really the core logic. How could we use uh, update these positions in a high throughput fashion? Um, so I've used Sickle, I have CUDA. Um, but everyone's been talking a bit about uh, this whole thing called Triton. Um, so Triton is this uh, Python DSL that allows you to write um, kernels, usually for GPU. Um, if you're familiar with type PyTorch, it's meant to be a bit more complex than that, but not as difficult to uh, program as in CUDA. And then there's a compiler there, and the compiler then takes care of things that, so you don't have to worry about it. Like, memory coalescing, that means like you have sequential reads from data, make sure that data comes all together at the same time. It will use shared memory, it will prefetch memory, uh, prefetch data, it will use tensor cores, so you don't have to use APIs that uh, use tensor cores, which are these really powerful uh, units, like cores in your uh, NVIDIA GPUs, for example, um, that do very fast matrix multiplication. Um, and it then has really nice facilities, like it allows you to debug in your CPU, and then you use your Python debugger at the same time. It's quite nice. And it will optimize certain uh, launch parameters of your GPU kernel. And this is kind of how it looks like. Um, <coughs> so you have like a, this Python function, um, and then it is essentially a, a, a programs that are launched independently, or at least that's the programming model. Um, and they, each program has like a responsibility for a certain block size. Um, and then you load the data that you're uh, from memory, um, let's say high bandwidth memory in your GPU, um, and then you perform some kernel logic. Um, in this case, similar to what we saw in the C++ code, we're basically just doing an update of positions, and then you write it back to memory. And all of this then gets compiled uh, in the back end. Um, there's like uh, this Triton language gets, has a Triton intermediate representation. There's like an MLIR pipeline, which is like this LLVM framework for representing intermediate representations for specific, uh, for domain specific uh, applications. This gets lowered down to LLVM. And then if you're familiar with it, then like use like a PTX format, which then gets JIT compiled into potentially like a CUDA binary for uh, the GPU compute that you have. Um, and then you're ready, and now you can use it from your C++ code. So you have like, the, in our case, we have our movement kernel, CUDA binary. We load the, uh, the CUDA function out of it with uh, these uh, 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 CUDA API functions. Um, and we do the same thing again. We iterate over to our world, and we launch this kernel multiple times. And if you're familiar with uh, GPU, like uh, CUDA um, uh, launch parameters, this is kind of the equivalent of this, um, only that here we're doing it at runtime because we don't have the definition of the function. Um, and yeah, so hopefully you have like complex uh, models. Obviously, in this case, it was a very simple model, so you're probably not going to have a big benefit. But if your models get very complex, like your model logic, then you start observing several order of magnitude improvements. And thank you. <laughs>
Don't recycle this to start. Amazing. Thank you very much.